Hi, I'm Rachel Dorche and I'm a research engineer at the Bioinformatics and Biostatistics Hub in Institut Pasteur Paris. And today I'm going to talk about a project that is really um, important to my heart because it spoke about gender equality. And this project started almost three years ago and uh, it started with it started with a simple like casual talk during a book club where my dear colleague uh, Anna Julien were presenting one paper about gender disparities in science and uh, especially during conferences and question asking sessions and uh, we were at the same time organizing the same kind of conference in the national uh, level about bioinformatics and biostatistics and hosting it in, uh, in our institute uh, in Paris. The conference were due in 2021 and we were thinking that it should be the best moment to uh, reproduce this kind of uh, research and do it uh, also in our conference. So we build up this project. We um, write a job offer because we wanted to recruit someone with a background in social science because uh, Anna and me uh, we don't have this background and we were thinking that it's gonna be it could be like a great addition to this uh, kind of project so we write a job offer and we recruit uh, someone with a background in social science and um, due to the event uh, from those uh, two years um, with pandemic and the uh, virtual conferences we added an extra layer to this project uh, making the observation through a virtual... So in Jobim 2021 conference, we launched a pilot study on gender speaking differences in academia. Through this evidence-based and mixed method study, we intended to answer the following question. How to create the condition for a gender equal expression in scientific conferences? So how we did that? we did different step observation and study. Before the conference, we collected data through registration form. Then during the conference, we observed the talk and especially the question session. We had nine volunteers to help us observe the conference. We observed 66 talks and we collected more than 400 questions. And then at the end of the, of the conference, we did a post survey that were answered by more than 150 people. And then we also conducted seven in-depth interviews. And the results are summarized here. Um, so on the top panel, you have a few of the demographic uh, data from Jobim conference from the current year and the past years. On the A panel, you can see a plot of the number of participants at the Jobim 2021 edition by age category. Color represented the count of each gender. On the B panel, you can see a bar plot of the number of participants at Jobim 2021 by age categories where the color represents the attendees answer to the question do you identify as a member of the LGBTQIA plus community and on the C panel you can see the proportion of women with respect to Jobim previous edition so you can see here an effect of, of the conference being hosted in remote then here you can see all the written question asking during Jobing 2021 conference. Also, the color are representing the genders. And here you can have a little um, quick view of the cookbook that were used for the qualitative analysis made by our brilliant student, Jean Liu Zhang. So this is just a little glance of all the work that we have done on this project. But if you want more detail about the methodology, 
technology and all the results that we had collected and analyzed through the edition of Jobim. You can have a look to the paper we wrote, which is available on BioArchive now. And you can also have a look to the guidelines that we wrote for STEM conference organizer. And one day we hope to have a nice website where we can store all the guidelines and toolbox such as the scripts that we use to extract info from the Zoom export or the form that we use for observational volunteers. And here we are. I hope you enjoy this poster. I hope you enjoy the talk. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Thanks.